Brest look to make their home form count as Saint Etienne arrived at the Stade Francis Le Blay. The Bretons may be on a three match winless run in Ligue 1 Conferama, but have suffered only one defeat at home in 12, and that was a narrow loss to champions Paris Saint Germain. Saint Etienne happy to avoid a fourth tier banana skin to advance to the Coupe de France semi final with Rennes, but Claude Puel had a job on his hands to stop the rot in the top flight, a treble of defeats on the trot. Olivier da Olio, still without suspended Jean-Charles Castelletto, sent off in the draw here against Bordeaux a fortnight ago, but the home defence had little concerns in a devastating first half display. On the slide, Paul Lann scoring the opening goal, almost four months between his first and second of the season, but the last nine goals he scored have come in wins for his team. A fine omen for the Bretons. Roman Perrault and managed to bundle his way through. And then it was Brest Superman, Gaetan Chaponnier flying to the near post. And a terrific little flick out to net his fourth of the season. The back heel bringing him one short of his best Ligue 1 Conferama tally of five. Well, having watched Amiens shock PSG with three and 40 minutes, Anything the Unicorns could do, they could just about equal. 43 on the clock when Arvin Cardona netted. Stéphane Ruffi and Saint-Étienne down on the deck. The 22-year-old ex-Monaco youngster with his sixth goal of the season. Gauthier Larsonnier with a cheeky Joe Hart moment. Well, a stunning first half from brilliant Bresse while suffering Saint-Étienne were being washed away in the Breton storm. Puel sending on Lois Dioni and Franck Honora to recover some honour. Lever hadn't been led 3 0 at half time since 2009 against PSG when they lost by that scoreline. They also hadn't lost to their hosts in the top flight for almost a decade. And they found a lifeline. Brendan Chardonnay, harshly treated by referee Eric Watelier. But Dennis Buanga didn't mind, scoring in successive matches from the penalty spot after their cup win. Eight for the season, on course to hit double figures for the very first time. And Sonte were suddenly in it to draw it. Dione with a thumping finish. Just a second of the season and seven in 55 appearances in green. The visitors back in the hunt. It looked like Buanga would be at the double, but a terrific near post save from La Sonneur kept Bresse in front. Relief as much as joy for Bresse at the full-time whistle, who held on as Paulin extends his lucky charm. Sonte leaving it too late. That's four defeats of the spin, and now just two points above the bottom three.